John in Chi Town, Chicago writes, Paul, I love your videos. Why, thank you, sir. I have learned so much about getting the most out of my audio equipment, but here's my question. I have my amp connected to my PC, and I listen to lots of digital music. I know that the internal DACs that come installed on motherboards are not that great and get noise from the PC components. Would connecting my PC to my amp, which has inside of it a Burr Brown 192.24 bit DAC via the Spdiff bypass the Realtek DAC in my PC? Yeah, absolutely it will. And that's exactly what you should do. We in this, in our industry, refer to built-in DACs like the ones in your phone and your computer as courtesy DACs. They're kind of like, you know, the when we give you a free power cable, we call it a courtesy cable. It's not something we expect you to use, but as a courtesy, we give it to you because the last thing you want to do is get a new piece of equipment and go, oh crap, I forgot to buy a decent power cord. Now I can't even play the thing. Up, oh, here's my courtesy cord. Plug it in, you're playing. When you get a chance, get a decent power cord. Same thing with a computer. The DACs inside computers, I mean, Somebody just said, look, it's got to do this, this, and this, and find the cheapest one humanly possible. And that's the one we're going to go with. I think if I were designing a computer, I'd do the same thing. Because most people use it as a convenience. At home, on my, I've got an iMac. My speaker system, which is just there for Zoom calls and the occasional listening to music, and I don't do that very often because, honestly, for me, um, I, music distracts me. Music, I have to listen to music and enjoy it, or it's got to be in the background because, and that's fine if I'm reading or not really focusing on something. But if I'm focusing on a task or trying to write something or think, music is a distraction to me. And, and I know a lot of people that are exactly the opposite. But in any case, that's why I have, you know, my speakers are set up and I got a nice pair of B&Ws. Really, I love those little things. I can't remember. They're the self-amplified ones, the, the stereo pair. And they plug into the internal DAC on the iMac, which goes in through the little three and a half millimeter jack. And that's a crappy little DAC. It's, I mean, yeah, it, it does. 192, 24, but it's a crappy little DAC. And so you are much better off getting a decent sounding DAC, something you trust, using the SPDIF, which is the digital output to feed it because that bypasses the internal DAC on your computer. Okay, thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later.